so these are the ports on the HP Touch Smart 320 PC. You've got the SD card, two USB slots, an audio jack and headphone on the left hand side of the screen. So on the back as you can see here we have power, Ethernet, two, four USB slots. Here we have the accessories for the Touch Smart 320. Put the mouse. Come with it. As you can see there. Bluetooth. HP mouse. Um, we've got the getting started guide. And the warranty. And here we've got the power. So just a normal cable. And the as you can see there. So there's the stats you can see. Um, it's the three twenty ten ten A. Uh, it's got an AMD APU, 2.4 GHz, graphics 4 GB of RAM, and runs 64 bit um, Windows 7 Home Premium. It's also got two touch points, so support for multi touch, as shown before. Okay, so now we're going to look at some of the more the HP touchpad specific applications. So if we go here, there's a whole HP Touch Smart folder. You can see there we've got browser, music, photos, magic canvas, video, webcam, notes, and recipe box. There's the first one. Oops. This one. That's this. Right. This is the music application. So if we touch that, as you can see it plays. It's got large buttons, so it's easier to control with the finger. It's got dragging toggles at the end. Turn it the a bit. You can search by artists. In the bottom corner here, you've got all the different controls. So stop, share on Facebook, um, view album art, as you can see here. So you can flick side to side. Um, you can shuffle, and you can go back. So that's music. If we go back over here. Um, web browser. So, as you can see, HP have made customized web browser for touch. So it's got larger areas to type in. You can get the keyboard up. Um, oops, and you can. Sketch stuff on there, or else you can type it in with your hands or fingers and then load it. You can scroll using your finger. You can't zoom, oh, yes, you can. You can zoom, zoom in and out. Um, and down the bottom here, we've got favorites, add it, print it, create a magnet which adds it to HP's magic canvas so if we minimize here you can see down the bottom here there's the magnet and you can drag and drop that anywhere you like it's kinda like a desktop really um, magic canvas we've also got the recipe box so, got a whole heap of recipes here. We got crab cakes. So 
Okay, you open it and you can get directions, um, ingredients, quick info about it, and you can add your own notes down the end here. Um, so that's, you can also, there's also beverages, oops, um, return, beverages, desserts, and entrees. Um, there's a whole heap of touch apps here, really. Um, we've got notes, which is here. As you can see, these are just the HP default ones, but there's all different notes. You can add your own. Um, you can drag them, but it's not in real time. So it's a bit less responsive than a you like, but you can do all different note types, sticky notes, items, images, and voice clips. So that's notes. Um, music, photo, which we showed before. This one is essentially Windows Image Viewer, but it allows for multi-touch. So you open it, and there's all these images here. And you can see you can zoom in and out, and you can do some basic effects over here. So there's crop, um, brightness, red eye, just photo, photo effect, etc. Across the top here, there's also a lot of oops, a lot of places you can upload it to, so you can do Facebook, Flickr, um, other devices on your network. So that's Touch Smart Canvas. Um, right there. You can get a list view, etc. Now, interestingly, if we go back here, there is a app for Zinio that ships on here by default. It isn't made for touch, as we found out. In the while well, most of the buttons are good size, um, it loads in here. As you can see up in the top corner here. Exiting, minimizing, maximizing buttons, they're really not big enough for touch over here. They're big enough, but it's really hard to try and get the right button with your finger. Your finger's too thick for that. Um, so, yeah, you can switch between the two desktops. You can either have the Magic Canvas, which is this one, is your desktop. Or if we go back, you can have just the traditional Windows desktop, which has all your apps down the side here. So in this next part, we'll look at Windows using multi-touch. So as you can see, it's just your normal Windows. There's no customization made here whatsoever. Um, so opening pictures, for example, gives you the normal images, um, normal views, which isn't really optimized for touch, as you can see. Holding down your finger brings up the nice circle, um, which is a, effectively a right click. And as you see, we get the normal right click functionality. Um, doing the same on the desktop results in the same thing. So it's easy enough to do right clicks. Um, doing the multi touch, like the pinch to zoom, as shown before, only works in HP's photo viewer at the top here, HP's photo viewer. Um, and so kind of limits that functionality, but there are loads of HP applications that um, do make the most of it. So if we close that, um, if we go to control panel, everything else is just Windows as you would expect it. It's really that HP overlay that makes the difference. This, if we switch back to it, Right here, um, you can see there's all different apps down the bottom there. 
you can view them in different ways. Um, there isn't one of the key features is support for Beats Audio, um, and I'm just you may not be able to pick up the difference using um, on YouTube here, but if we yes, no, yes, if we play this song, It's got a lot more warmth to it with the Beats audio. As opposed to without it. Um, and that's really that's the touch smart. So um, as you can see, we've got the keyboard um, as an actual beats. Um, key that disables it or re-enables it. Uh, numpad, volume controls up here, print screen, etc. On top, normal function keys, we've got the mouse, um, webcam up the top here, around the back, on the side, you've got an SD card reader up the top, Two USB ports, headphone and audio jack. On the back you've got the power, um, four USB ports and an Ethernet cable, no uh, port, sorry. And on the other side there's just a CD drive that sticks out, ejects out of the side of the computer. So that's the HP TouchSmart 320 PC. Um, now available in Australia.